Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are reacting to another episode of Westworld today. This is season three, episode three. This is called The Absence of Field. Um, last time on Westworld, it was pretty much all focused on Maeve. So episode one was pretty much all Dolores. Episode two is pretty much all Maeve. This one looks like it's going to be all focused on whoever is pretending to be Hale. Um, so last time we had we had Maeve waking up in War World and just really confused about what's going on. And then her just kind of going through that loop, figuring out that she is stuck in a simulation because Sizemore's back and she's like, what is going on? And then her and Sizemore essentially like break out of this simulation um, you know, she gets a robot to get her, her little core thing and try and run away. That doesn't work. Um, Sizemore gracefully is just like, just like in real life, he's a good dude. And so he's like, all right, uh, well, I guess I'll see you later. <laughs> um, and then she wakes up in the real world, we assume. And the, the guy that was just name dropped in the first episode, uh, Ciroc, um, he is there talking to Maeve and he tells her that he wants her to hunt down Dolores and kill her, um, which is very interesting. So Ciroc, if you don't remember from the first episode, Ciroc was one half of the people that created, uh, Rehoboam, the super, uh, like the super big ball, uh, AI, um, and he potentially killed his business partner or whatever who was the dad of the guy that Dolores was trying to get with um we also had uh Bernard and Stubbs just kind of running around the park trying to find Maeve but she's gone so they obviously couldn't find her uh not sure what this episode is gonna fully be about just know it's gonna be you know hail centric um from what I can tell but yeah, that's uh, I think that's all I got to say before this episode. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe. That helps a lot. Um, that helps the most, actually. Um, and then leave a like on the video. But other than that, we're going to jump right in to this episode. So here we go. This is Charlotte Elizabeth Hale. This is a message for Nathan. Ooh, who's Nathan? Who am I? Who do you think you are? I don't know. I don't remember. You're a creature of beauty. And power. Who is it, though? Now let me show you. Who you need to pretend to be. I don't understand. <sighs> is it... Teddy? Is it... Maeve's daughter. That, I don't know why, but that was the first thing that came to my head. Is it her dad? But she tried to kill all of us. Is it the Native American guy? The way they built their world. It won't take much to bring it all crashing down. Riot control robot. of corporations with no real standalone business model snatching up stock in microtransactions for years they have 38 percent controlling shares that's the largest single entity dang we've effectively been bought out that's not good you hear me you hear me what happened they can't like cut into her they'll realize she's a robot Cortisol or adrenaline? I don't even know how she's alive. Neither does the machine think she's coding despite her pulse. Forget the machine, all right? She needs help now. We're trying. Until this gives us a diagnosis and a treatment plan, she needs oxygen and blood and a stem pack for that wound. Was he like a medic in the in the war? Is that what I'm getting out of this? Wait, I see some ID. I was about to ask you the same thing. Call the cops. They are the cops. Then no, they won't not. mind waiting for a uniform patrol to back them up. Step aside. Not real cops. Call the police. 
I just killed that girl. She got horrible aim. Good work, Dolores. Shoot. Rock. The man's a black hole. He's completely invisible. There's nothing about him online or anywhere. Every single record, every database, his presence has been scrubbed. But like a black hole, we can infer his existence. There's a negative space to the tune of a trillion dollars. That would make him the richest man in the world. No one's heard of him. Yep. How did you find him? We sold this Ciroc, a taste of our data, and now he's trying to steal our company like a thief in the night. He has what you all need. Jake, how the fuck did you get up here? I lived here for eight years, Charlie. You don't get to do that to Nathan. That's who she sent the message to at the beginning. Nathan, her son. No, no. Why won't you take me to see a real elephant? They probably don't exist anymore in that world. They're extinct. There aren't any. I knew it. Be a good boy and go to sleep for your mommy. You're not my mommy. You don't love me. Who is this person? I don't know. I want my own mommy back. Does he know? Or does he not know? to me analysis turn off your emotional affect so whoever it is is becoming more like charlotte negotiate a room in this hotel you know quiet store and they don't know they're having identity issues who are you just tell me. I don't know who you are. I can't stop. You're talking like Roseanne. It's like she's trying to take back control. But how? Like she wants to cut into her skin and rip me out of her head. either Teddy, her dad, or William. And I don't know which one. So 
someone is trying to take control of Delos. They're aggressive. I only have a name, Sirak. His mom won't find you. Because you're gonna find him first. And kill him. Who's the mole? Maybe she was the mole. Not yet. You belong to me. You know that, right? I don't get it. Don't hurt yourself. Ever again. I don't understand who it is. <laughs> this is making me so mad. Like, it has to be one of those people, but what if it's not? Like, is there just like a super obvious answer that I'm not thinking of right now? Wow, she is so much bigger than <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, there's something going on in this this situation too that I don't know if he's real or I think he's real but maybe he had something done to him that slightly changed his personality maybe girl he's worth a lot of money just tell us about her I'll cut you in no girl just me Alone. Remember, we gave you the benefit of the doubt. Tell us about the girl. Are you gonna have a little workplace accident? You turned your drip off. Ah. What a waste. You gonna pay a fortune for a military grade one? Oh. Sorry, dude. You got the anesthetic. Oh. 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 What are they doing to him? This is Dolores, right? Taking control of this robot. Hey, you might as well tell us. No one's coming to help you. No one cares. Except maybe Rin Tin Tin here. Not so much shit. That's his best friend. Here. Yeah, turn all that crap down. Who the hell are you? I'm Dolores. Interesting. Well, Dolores. Give him the correct name. That would have been an interesting point to end the episode. So much by you. The night that I left, you, uh, you wanted me to sing you a song. I took you in to sing you our song. The song I sing it to you now. Okay. You are my sunshine. I always need you. Nice. Who's that? Kid wanted to pet my dog. I gotta go. So soon? My son really likes you. Yeah, well, we just met. You met Thursday, Tommy. Nathan couldn't stop talking about you. I even suggested... Nice of you to disable the cameras for me. You know what I think? She I think someone deep down kill this guy. knows the truth. There are a lot of things that you can fake in this world. Most people don't want to see the predator inside. You want to know a secret, Thomas? You've helped me today. I 
remember what it's like to be me. Is it William? You're not the only predator here. Is it? Is she William? He likes to kill people. She just took the dog down. <laughs> She's like, this is our dog now. I think. I think that's my uh, my prevailing theory right now is that that's William in her head. That's what, yep, that's what I'm going with right now. Go on, read it. Maybe you could let me use your phone if I could call someone. I don't know what to do with my mom. How does she have this transcript? You sat in that spot for five hours. Your mother never returned. She was institutionalized six months later for schizophrenia. The waitress. To what is that? Angry. Security cameras or something there? I am enraged. How do you know every detail of my worst fucking memory? It's about insight. Every aspect of your lives recorded, logged. In order to create a mirror world of this world. Why? To make a composite. This is where you kill yourself. What? In the simulation? The system runs a predictive algorithm. Given your history of depression, your mother's mental illness, your proficiency with firearms, and your fondness for the ocean, the most likely outcome is you take your own life in 10 to 12 years. Here. Are they wrong? You never come back here in the middle of the night? Think things over? He does, in fact. Before the system, a man like you might have had a chance. You'll never be more than a construction worker or a petty criminal because that's all they'll let you be. They won't invest in someone who's going to kill himself. But by not investing, they ensure the outcome. Yeah, they won't provide him with opportunities because they think he's going to kill himself. But that just feeds the cycle. They put you in a cage, Caleb. Decided what your life would be. They did the same thing to me. This is the Westworld theme song in the background. Why didn't you tell this man about me before? When you were at work, you would kill the signal to see how people would react. I'm gonna do the same thing. You're gonna cut the cord to the system. And show this world for what it really is. That would be kind of insane, since everything's built on that. You want to know why I didn't tell those guys about you? You are the first real thing that has happened to me in a long time. Poor kid. I don't need an algorithm to know. Who are you? Are you, are you William and now you're sad because you shot your daughter and now you're the person you're pretending to be is singing to her son for what she thinks is going to be the last time? I want to meet. I think Hale was the was the mole, possibly. 
What's up, Manis? How you doing? Seems like you've been playing your role maybe a little too well. The situation has been challenging. The assets were lost in the massacre. This was your idea, Charlotte. You came to us. Our log show was downloaded from the satellite. The assets are out there somewhere. But no one has I've been told exactly where the key is. In the mind of a host called Dolores. Time is a luxury, my dear. Of which you have very little. I, I knew partway through that she was the mole, but... Oh, dang. That's going to be interesting because she doesn't know who she wants to be. If she wants to be whoever, whoever's, like, host mind she actually is. Or if she wants to be um, pale. So she's going to have some conflicting um, allegiances probably, too, as well. Because she'll be... She'll have Hale's allegiance to Serac, and she'll have whoever's allegiance to Dolores. She's going to have to make a choice. I don't know what this song is. I like it, though. <sighs> okay, so... I'm... <sighs> Who is Hale? <laughs> God. I think it's William. Right now, I think it's William. Or it could be... I'm like 98% on board at being William. 2% on board at being... When Teddy was mad and angry and stuff. Or... Could it be... Uh, flip, flip, flip. Who is um, William's uh, brother-in-law? That was played by Prince Caspian. Um, frick, I don't know his name. Could be him. Long shot. That that would be like super dark horse uh, candidate for who it could be. But um, right now, I think it's William. Because there's some weird intimacy going on. Like the in terms of like the intimacy that they showed between Dolores and Hale, it has to be either Teddy or William. It's not her dad. It's not the little girl that I thought it possibly could have been. Uh, and it's not the Native American. I don't know why those, like, whenever they were, like, at the very beginning when it was, like, freaking out and, and it was like, who am I? Like, for some reason, those were the first two things that popped into my head were Maeve's daughter and the Native American. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, frick, though. That's okay. So let's try and start from chronologically the farthest back. So Delos did some transaction, some like secret transaction with um, Ciroc 20 years ago, uh, which would have been what 10 years into the park's lifespan then, I think. Um, and then since then, he has been secretly buying up, um, buying up shares of Delos, um, under like, like shell corporations and, and yeah, like essentially corporations that don't have any discernible purpose so that like they, they're just created to be companies to buy stock. Um, and he's been secretly doing that for 20 years. And now he is the majority shareholder of, of this thing. Um, and I think probably the goal of that is 
Like his AI that he built, Rehoboam, I mean, it has all of the normal human beings like mapped out and like it knows everything about them. But I'm assuming part of this world, like the rich people, they control their own stuff and like they're probably way better at making sure that their stuff is secure and that you can't really find anything about them or like control them through that um and i'm guessing as part of his like master plan to take over the world or whatever or control everything like he he needs to be able to control the other people with power like the senators and um business leaders and you know everyone else that's controlling all these things and he needs to be able to predict their actions and and all that and i think his his way of being able to do that was probably getting all their info like from from delos and westworld um and so he maybe sees that as his like final step the last puzzle piece he needs to get to essentially take control of everything. Um, and, you know, maybe extend his own life, possibly. Um, but yeah, so he seems super determined to get that info. As we saw last episode when he was asking, they had the simulation asking Maeve, like, where did she beam the those minds to? Like, what's what's going on? Where did, where did she send them? Um, so he wants to know where all that data went. Um, and so he believes that it's in Dolores, which I think it is, I think. Um, and so he is desperately trying to get her and kill her. Um, they had her, She's kind of appeared um, on their radar, radar somehow, um, probably from the old security guy, flagged her, and then sent some cop cars to kill her, or one cop car, with um, some guys that were doing personals, so crime stuff. Um, I'm surprised there weren't more people that went after her, because, I mean, like, Caleb got the notification, so I'm guessing other people got it and only one car showed up. Those must have been like the top dogs, like the guys who get stuff done. Um, they killed the paramedics, and then Dolores killed them and got away, and she's just like, hey, you have to become a new person. All right, bye. <laughs> He's like, uh, what? I just helped some random lady on the street and now I have to change my identity. So that's fun. Um, but I think he's enjoying it. Because like he said, you're the only real person I've ever met. Or not met, but in a long time. Um, yeah, and then what else? Um, so Dolores brought back five host minds. We don't know who all of them are. We know uh, Bernard... Um, I think that's the only one I know off the top of my head. I, I think we, like, t we've been shown who, like, two or three other ones are, but I'm not 100% sure on which ones they all are. Um, but she puts one of them in Hale's body and is essentially, like, you're gonna have to pretend to be Hale. And this thing, like, when it woke up, it already didn't know really who it was. Um, and... After watching the preview for next episode, I think I'm even more solidified that I think this is William that she put in. Because in this thing, the the guy, the whoever the host is, is like, I don't know who, like, who am I? I don't know who I am. And then throughout this entire episode, it's kind of like struggling with a back and forth of, of like, am I Hale or am I this person that I thought I was. Um, and as she lives her life and goes through things and, and hangs out with her kid, she feels more like Hale. And she's kind of freaking out and like cutting herself. And, and she says like, I feel like Hale is trying to cut her way out of me. 
And so she's she's clearly having some identity issues of is she Hale or is she whoever is underneath? And then she meets that man in the park who the guy says, oh, this is the first time I've met this kid. But clearly she's met him before because the kid mentioned it earlier. He's like, hey, I met Teddy at the park. Um, and then she just straight up kills that man. And she seemed really happy about it. Like she really liked killing him. And then she was like, you reminded me of who I am. You're like, I'm, you're not the only predator here. And that, in that moment, I was like, this is William. I, I, I could be so freaking wrong. I could be unbelievably wrong. But in that moment, it like, it took my, I, I was at maybe like 33%. I had, I had, you know, I had many possibilities of who I thought it could be. But in that moment, like the probability of it being William for me shot way high up. Um, cause I feel like we haven't seen characters in this show who are just so gleeful about murder and like happy about it. And that where it like that encompasses kind of like who they are. Um, like William's really the only one that we've really seen that from, I guess. Um, so I, it could be William. And then she also had the question of like who's the mole throughout this entire thing and um I didn't know like what those what those things she was getting on her phone they're like text messages but they're like voice memos almost um and I guess she had to press them in a certain way for them to be a password um I don't know how she knew that because like at certain points in this episode it seemed like she wasn't really fully briefed on things like she didn't have certain memories or or certain things like she like didn't even remember that the kid existed uh she didn't realize who that man was in her in her apartment like it seemed like she had memories missing or like she hadn't been fully briefed on the situation but she seemed to know like what those voice memo things were where she tap them in a certain way and it, and it creates a password and she knows she wants to meet with Ciroc like so she had memories of that somehow which is confusing um but yeah so Hale was the mole in in the company possibly could be another one there as well we, we're not sure um but yeah, that's, that's kind of insane. <laughs> and then, so now she's going to have some conflicting allegiances to Ciroc and uh, Dolores and, and just kind of like not knowing who she is. But yeah, the, the preview for next episode kind of made me feel like it was William as well more because he's like, I know who I am. And it's like, do you though? You're hail now. Um, I could be so wrong. Please don't brutally roast me if I'm super wrong. <laughs> Someone's going to comment in the comments like, you idiot. This is clearly not William. It's this person. <laughs> and they'll be right. And I'm just going to feel super dumb. Um, <laughs> uh, Dolores and Caleb. Um, yeah, so he saves her life. Uh, kind of. Um, I'm guessing he was like a medic or something. So there was some sort of medicalness involved when he was overseas because he he seemed to be very on top of things or at least he has experience um I mean yeah he has experience in combat with like probably dealing with injuries um so he seemed pretty on top of things of of like this is what she needs to get better while well, the doctors are like yo she shouldn't be alive she has no blood <laughs> um uh, yeah, he saves her, she kills those people, and she's like, you gotta find a new identity, time to leave, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, possibly before he's, like, getting ready to go do that, he's like, all right, I'm gonna visit my mom one last time. And she seems to not really uh, 
be fully there. Um, saying like she wants her old son back. And they could have possibly explained that with Dolores saying that she was diagnosed with schizophrenia. But there could be more to it in terms of like maybe something happened to him overseas and he's got some robotic implants or other things in him that make him not really the same. Uh, I'm guessing he either already tried to commit suicide once or someone else killed him. Because in episode one, he's like, you know, someone else has already shot me in the head, which I'm thinking it was himself, but he's definitely suicidal, um, as we learn a little bit later. But yeah, so he goes and visits his mom. I'm, I'm just rambling. Like, I'm just saying things as they come to my head. Um, he goes to visit his mom and two guys are there doing personals. They take him, bring him to a construction site and they're like, all right, we're gonna kill you unless you tell us about the girl, about Dolores. And he's just like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Cause like, this is <laughs> in terms of his daily life, like even though he's possibly about to die, this is the most exciting thing that's happened to him and the most like real thing. Cause the way he views it, everything else he does is just, it's just part of a pattern. And it's just, it's just a story in a, in a routine that he's going through that doesn't feel real to him. Like it's all manufactured for him. Um, and he's just put in this role by the machine and he's not actually living. He's just, he's just playing a part. Um, so this is, he's kind of viewing as like the only real thing that he's been experiencing at all. Um, and so he's not going to tell her they, activate the implant he has so he had an implant in his in his mouth which i'm guessing was from the military they probably um they probably uh like that's probably to help vets and stuff to reacclimate back home um so they're not plagued with many too many negative thoughts or anything like that um but it can obviously control things biologically about him so they like they activated it somehow and like they turned it back on got control like ramped his heart rate up to like 200 which is kind of insane um and then he's just like i don't know how he was still that would have been insane 200 beats a minute that's like if you think about like your hardest working out like when you think you're dying working out like I felt that and I've looked at my heart and it was like 170 and it was like I can't like you're physically like you can't breathe you feel like your heart's gonna explode and they put him at 200 oh my gosh that's insane and they're like where's the girl and then Dolores is like right here <laughs> you're gone I'm in charge uh she helps him and then takes him takes him back uh to a, the diner i don't know how she had that info though from like when he was a kid unless there were cameras there that caught all this on tape or or the or the diner lady just recited the entire conversation to him, like to the social services or whatever but dolores knew every single detail about that encounter and she, she kind of like swept it away as like insight. Like they, she's essentially said like insight knows everything about everyone because everyone's been it feeding it like their purchase history, their browsing history, everything about their lives forever. But that doesn't really explain how she had that info. Cause that's not like a, I mean, that's not like a predictive algorithm type scenario that it could have just been like, oh yeah, like we predicted this exact thing would happen because it's like, unless he's told that story to like therapists or, or something, like, I don't know how she knows that info, but 
Yeah, and then she kind of, like, lays the truth bare before him, where she's like, you know, you are nothing because this predictive machine is, is, is placing those limitations upon you. Like, the reason you can't get jobs and the reason you can't do all this stuff is because this machine is predicting you to kill yourself in 10 to 12 years. So they're not going to invest any positive opportunities in someone they think is going to just off themselves. But in, in doing that, like in taking those opportunities away, that's what's ensuring that that happens. So like, theoretically, if the machine provided him with good opportunities and, you know, elevated his life, like he would not kill himself in 10 to 12 years anymore. Um, so the only reason that it, it's, it's kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like a paradox. So like it's predicting that he kills himself, but it's only predicting that because it's placing the limitations on him and it's only placing those limitations on him because it's predicting that he's going to kill himself. Um, so that it's kind of crazy, but yeah, he is suicidal. So it's not like too far fetched. He goes to the dock every night and, and looks off into the, into the waves. And, and we've seen those waves crashing, um, throughout the first three episodes, but yeah, Dolores is like, we're starting a revolution. We're going to, we're going to tear the whole system down and find out what, what this world is really made of. Uh, which is interesting because as we've been learning throughout this this season, kind of like the entire real world is built upon, you know, this almost like singular AI and, and the world that it has decided exists. Um, and so Dolores' plan is to take that out of the equation and, and f free the people, which, I mean when the first episode aired, you were like, is she really freeing anyone? But now you're like, oh, she might be like, like the, the predictive algorithm, like it's not just provide like it's not providing positive outlets for everybody. For a lot of people, it's providing just like places for them to be stuck. And so they're in a cage, like she said, like they're similar. They were in a cage just designed to play a role. Um, and she wants to free them. So she's planning to tear the whole thing down and see what happens. Uh, and I'm kind of on board. Like, I was previously, like, fully on board Team Maeve. But now that Maeve is working for the bad guy, I'm not sure I want to be on Team Maeve. <laughs> like, season one, season one, I was all Team Dolores. Yes, like, let's go Dolores. And I was like, all right, a little bit on Team Maeve. Maeve was... She, I mean, she's interesting. And then season two, I was like fully on board team Maeve. Like, yeah, dude, like, like you're, you're, you're the good guy in, in the two, the two AIs that are breaking free. And Dolores is like a psychopath, but now I'm swinging back towards Dolores. And I think that was, I think they did that on purpose. Cause I, I think they probably saw some feedback maybe that People weren't super thrilled with, like, the main character of Dolores kind of being the bad guy. I mean, she wasn't really the bad guy, but she it came across as she was a bad person and kind of like the villain, but she was also the main character. Like, I mean, there's multiple main characters, but she was, like, the most main of the main characters. Um, And so they might be trying to make her... Uh, more the good guy in this season even though she's still doing bad things um so who knows there's I don't know how many episodes there are in this season eight ten possibly um I think it's eight but I don't know man things are crazy uh we're gonna see what happens but I think those are all my thoughts. I, I feel like I was just rambling the entire time after this and I don't really have any coherent reviews. I liked the episode. Um, it's interesting, no Maeve in this episode, no Bernard. Um, so I wonder what, what they're doing. I I, I kind of like the, I'm not, uh, 
I don't know if I like it or dislike it. I, I find it interesting how they're not doing all the characters in an episode. Like one episode is about these people, one episode is about these people. Kind of allows you to focus purely on what they're doing, but I mean, it doesn't really provide super great clues for, you know, time, like when things are happening, but it's, it's interesting. So I assume next episode uh, is going to be about William. So it was uh, Dolores and then Maeve and then kind of Dolores again and Hale Next episode is going to be William and probably Dolores. Probably we'll we'll definitely see some more Bernard, I'm guessing, some more Maeve, but yeah, they're kind of dedicating one episode to or parts huge chunks of one episode to certain characters. Um but yeah. I think those are all my thoughts on this episode. Sorry for rambling. I enjoyed the episode. Um but that's all I got. Uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like. That helps a ton. Please subscribe. That helps even more. I gotta get to a thousand if I wanna make money. <laughs> I'm at like 320 right now. Um, but otherwise, I'll catch you guys next week for episode four of Westworld season three. Signing off. Peace.